Hello student of grade 11 applied maths or maths we will do exercise 13.1 limit chapter question number one limit x tends to 3 x plus 3 so x tends to 3 is approximately 3 we can just put the value 3 in place of x you'll get 6 direct here also direct we can do limit x tends instead of x we can put pi so this is the answer here limit r tends to 1 pi r square so in place of r you write 1 so pi 1 square is 1 that is pi here you have to check the denominator if i put 4 whether it will become 0 or not so if i put 4 it's not becoming 0 that means we can solve directly by putting the value instead of x we'll put 4 since it says x tends to 4 so it will be 16 plus 3 by 2 so 9 it will be 19 by 2 if i put minus 1 the denominator is not be becoming 0 so we can put the value directly minus 1 to the power 10 plus minus 1 to the power 5 plus 1 by minus 1 minus 1 in place of x we are putting minus 1 so power 10 is power is even so it will be always positive power odd for negative number is negative so minus 1 plus 1 cancel you are getting minus 1 by 2 ok let's put the value here if I put 0 it becomes 0 so this is x plus 1 see this is the formula limit x tends to 0 1 plus x m minus 1 by x is the power only m so this is in this form only 1 plus x plus 1 minus 1 by x the formula is directly power the power so answer is 5 you can write the power directly or you can if you want to we can write 5 directly or if you want to do in different way um, you can consider this as t the answer is 5 directly you can write Otherwise, you can consider like that. Uh, let x plus 1 equal to t. As x tends to 0, t tends to 1. If x is 0, t will become 1. So, we can write limit t tends to 1 instead of x tends to 0 we're converting to t so we'll write t tends to 1 x plus 1 is t power 5 minus 1 by in place of x what you can write t minus 1 so you see in place of x you can write t minus 1 so for this we can apply this formula again we can use this formula this is in the form of xn minus a n x minus a formula is n a n minus 1 so here n is 5 a is 1 n minus 1 5 minus 1 that means 5 into 1 power 4 that is 1 only you'll get 5 or you can write the value directly 5 also as part of formula here in this question if I put 2 here, 2 square is 4, 4 minus 4 is 0, denominator becomes 0. That means we have to do factorization. In place of this, I'm doing the factorization here. For 3x square minus x minus 10, you'll get 10, 3 is 30. 6, 5 times is 30, 6 minus 5, Milton factorization.
here three x is common here five is common so we're getting x minus two three x plus five we're getting x minus two three x plus five and if we factorize this x square minus four i can write x square minus 2 square in place of 4 so this is in the form of a square minus b square formula is a plus b a minus b so we can write x plus 2 x minus 2 cancel this now if you put the value it will not become 0 so now we can put the value directly 3 into in place of x will put 2 2 plus 2 you will get 6 plus 5 by 4 11 by 4 okay similarly let's do number 8 this is in the form of x4 minus 81 let us factorize this and check this will become 3, 2 is 6, and 6, 1 times is 6, 6 minus 1 is 5, okay? Since this is minus, we do minus, middle term factorization. Here common is 2x, x minus 3. Here common is 1, x minus 3, we're getting x minus 3, 2x plus 1. So limit, x tends to 3, these are all polynomial functions, okay? If you can factorize, factorize it, solve it. Denominator, we have x minus 3, 2x plus 1. So numerator will do. We'll get x square whole square minus 9 square. So we can write a plus b, a minus b. We cannot apply formula here, but we can apply in this part again. So we can write x square plus 9 in place of 9 we can write 3 square so I apply the formula here a plus b a minus b so if we factorize this we're getting x square plus 9 x plus 3 x minus 3 so x minus 3 we can cut now if you put the value 3 also you won't get 0 in the denominator so we can put the value 3 now so if I put here 3 square plus 9 3 plus 3 in place of x I'm putting 3 2 into 3 plus 1 so 9 plus 9 6 it will be 6 plus 1 so you are getting 18 into 6 by 7 we can't cancel so multiply 6 8 is 48 6 1 is 6 7 8 9 10 1 0 8 by 7 is the answer Here, directly we can do, if you put 0, no changes is there, so we can put 0 directly. A into 0 plus B, C into 0 plus 1, we are getting 0 plus B by 0 plus 1, that is B only. B by 1, that is B only. Number 10. For doing number 10, I think you have to use this formula. Let's bring it see x power n minus a power n by x minus a this formula okay so limit i can write z tends to 1 i'm dividing z minus 1 on top and bottom okay i'm just right here z tends to 1 I'm writing the same thing only so I'm dividing the numerator also by z minus 1 and denominator also by z minus 1 to apply the formula now you can break the limit you can write limit here also there also limit z tends to 1 in the numerator we have 1 by 3 minus we can write this power of 1 also 1 by 3 the denominator we have limit 
z tends to 1, 1 by 6 minus 1 power 1 by 6. But power of 1 can be written as 1 by 6 also. Now apply the formula. If it is x power n minus a n by x minus a, formula is n a n minus 1. So we can write on the top n, n means 1 by 3, a means 1, n minus a. That is 1 by 3 minus 1. In the denominator, we can apply the formula here. n, that is 1 by 6, 1. So power of 1 will be... Power of 1, any power, it will be always 1. 1 by 6 into power of anything will be always 1. Power of 1. Any power will be 1 only. So, if you multiply, we get 1 by 3 by 1 by 6. If you reciprocal 1 by 3 into 6 by 1, we are getting 2. 2 is the answer, okay? Let's do question number 11. Limit x tends to 1. In place of x, you put 1. So we're getting a plus b plus c by c plus b plus a they are both are same a plus b plus c we can cancel we get one so this is question number 11. let's do this first we'll solve and put the value of x limit x tends to minus 2. here lcm is 2x cross multiply 2 plus x by Limit x tends to minus 2. 2 plus x by 2x. If you do it into x plus 2 by, sorry, 1 by x plus 2. Cancel. Now in place of x, put the value minus 2. No problem. You'll get the answer. So this is 1 by minus 4. Let's do question number 13. This is based on this formula. If you get sine x by x, it will be 1. You have to know that. So, in place of this b is constant, I can take it out. x tends to 0, sine ax by x is left. Since this is ax, I can multiply by a and put a here meaning is same so again constant can be out sine ax by ax if the angle is same that will be one only so the value of this limit is one as per the formula so answer is one by b similarly you have to do this one we can write uh, limit x tends to 1, so the 0, we can write sine ax by ax, I'm writing here, so a can be written here, and sine bx by bx, I'm writing b here, since x is already there, it can get cancelled, no problem, or you can write, since I'm writing ax here, you can write x here, since I'm writing bx here, you can write x here. So x x cancel. A by b can be out. We can write limit x tends to zero. Sine a x by a x. Limit x tends to zero. Sine b x by b x. Now as for the formula, this is one by one. Answer is a by b. Okay. Let's do this. We'll consider that we 
can take pi minus x equals number 15. We can consider that pi minus x equal to, let us take theta. Now, if I take pi minus x equal to theta, if s x tends to pi, theta will tend to 0. If in place of x, I put pi, that value of theta will be 0. So, we can say, write limit. Now, instead of x tends to pi, we can write theta tends to 0 because we are going to convert into theta instead of x sine pi minus x we are taking theta and this pi will be pi only pi minus x we are taking theta so it will be theta pi will be common limit theta tends to 0 we are getting sine theta by theta so sine theta by theta is nothing just 1 so answer is 1 by pi. This is the question number 16. This we can put the value directly because the denominator is not becoming 0. So we can write cos 0 degree by pi minus 0. So cos 0 value is 1 and pi minus 0 is pi. This is the answer. Okay. Question number 17. Limit x tends to 0. If I put 0, cos 0 is 1. So 1 minus 1 is something we cannot put directly 0. So that means we have to solve in different way. There is a formula in trigonometry. Cos 2 theta is... 2 cos square theta minus 1. I'm giving the formula here. Cos 2 theta is cos square 2 cos square theta minus 1. So in place of cos 2 theta, I wrote this. And downside is cos x minus 1. It will be 2 cos square theta minus 2 by cos x minus 1. I can take two common cos square theta minus one is left. Two is you can take it out. X tends to zero. This will, you can write cos square theta minus in place of one we can write one square. Not theta is it sorry x okay. I'm writing theta. So apply the formula. This is in the form of a square minus b square. So you can write a plus b a minus b. So this two is the same we can cancel. Now we can put the value of x directly. This will be cos zero plus one. Cos 0 is nothing but 1 plus 1. Four. Okay. Question number 18. What we'll do? We'll divide upside and downside by x. So this is cancel. This also cancel. So you are left with limit. X tends to zero. Upside we have a plus cos x and downside we have B, you can take it out, limit, x tends to 0, sin x by 
x you have to know that i'm dividing each term by sin x sorry not sin x x this 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 dividing by x after that i'm just cancelling the x part putting the limit inside now if i put here value limit value this will be cos 0 here be limit sin uh, x tends to 0 sin x by x is 1 so we're getting a plus 1 by of course 0 is 0 by b so answer is a by b not sorry cos 0 is 1 okay a plus 1 by b so you can pause the video to write the solution thank you